Hey everybody, Logan Kirk here at RockyMountainMysticMan.com In today's video, we're going to be covering some bushcraft stuff. I'm going to be teaching you about hand augers. That's right, them old school tools. They put nice little holes in the wood. That way we can build stuff from it, make cool things, all that good stuff. So, let's get to it. Come on. Alright you guys, here we are. So let me show you the tools of the trade for making holes in stuff. First thing, this here. <laughs> this is an old school hand auger. This is the baby that I use when I'm building something that needs a lot of structural strength, okay? Because I'm gonna get a lot of bite, big deep hole, but this thing has its drawbacks. But this thing here is older than me. I picked this up. I'm not gonna tell you where I picked it up, but I picked it up. Keep your eyes out for it, because if I see it, I'm gonna buy it first. Anyways, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set this aside. Also, if you don't know what this is, we'll go get one and learn, because this thing here is for making nice, clean holes as well. Different style bits, still considered a hand auger. This is probably my go-to tool right here when I'm building something like a sturdy bench or making pegs or doing something like that. The other thing you're gonna need uh, is a nice carpenter's axe, all right? So the carpenter's axe is special, okay? This hatchet is flat on one side here, okay? And it comes straight out, and the only bevel cut is going like this. This is gonna make a nice hue. You're gonna be able to make nice flat spots on it, as well as a nice hammer head on the back. Again, nice old tool. I love old tools, you guys. I find these things and I just have to have them. My wife might not like it, but I sure do. And last but not least, you need your draw knife. Okay, because this is gonna clean away all this bark. So when we're doing this, what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you with the draw knife. We want to make sure that we get all the way down to the Cambrian layer. So we're gonna take this draw knife. There it is, look at that, right there. See, now this here, that's called Cambrian. Believe it or not, in the Ponderosa Pine, if you're in an emergency, this stuff is chock full of nutrients. You can, uh, you can eat it. Ah, it's better when you boil it first, all right? It tastes real good. So let's clean this up here. Right down past the Cambrian. All right, I'm gonna use the draw knife to kind of make a nice little flat spot here. Nice little flat edge right there. All right. So I prefer this kind of a style auger and hand drill because it's just a little easier to operate. First thing you wanna do is you wanna set it, okay? Get it down in there. Keep it on there in nice steady motions. It's not about going fast. It's about doing it right. It's about getting a hole that's the proper depth and diameter that you want. Because this is part of the structural integrity of whatever it is you're building. And you can see as I bite this in here. Oh, okay, I got a little off center. We're gonna tighten that up. All right. And it's just nice and go on down. And you see how sharp my tools are, you guys, because that's how I take the time and I'm throwing chips out. That's the important part. What's nice about this auger too, in this style, is that it's got little cutting teeth. So we'll back it off here. And that's the other thing you guys, always back on out. Clean it off, you can see. Look how nice and clean that hole is, right? Right now, I got a good inch in there, just like that, really quick. And you can see on this bit, it's got these cutting teeth right on the sides here. Now, this style here is a little different. It's more difficult to use, takes a little more finesse. And when you're done making your hole, you usually got to take your knife, okay? Oh, just like this. And you got to clean around the edges and cut, all right? Let's do that. Let me show you. So this one here, you got to put a little more weight on. Again, we're going to hold it, set it, and we're just going to slowly screw that tip in, just like so. And this one, you got to be careful because you don't want to go and bite too much in at once. If you bite too much with this, you'll break it. It's not meant for that. This is meant for taking those small cuts and pieces that you need to make the hole. There we go. You can see how we bite in. You'll start noticing right away. See how it's peeling that wood back? All right. You don't want to push too hard and get too deep of a bite. You've got to control your bite. It's very, very important. Oh, see that? Look at it. I went right off kilter like that. So we'll back it off, straighten it out, and again, just like so. You'll notice the difference. See how it's not cutting around the edges? Because it doesn't have that little cut and razor edge on the edge. And that's why when you're done, you've got to clean it up with your knife. Don't be making fun of my handle. You guys saw that video, right? Broke the darn thing. Ugh.
Now it's the same thing. When we want to pull this out, we're going to back it out just like that. All right. See the difference here in these holes? This one was nice and clean. Let's pull that foot out of there. Nice and clean. Whereas this one here, it's there, but it's got all this spray all around it. And that's got to be cut out of there. Now, you can use your knife if you have to, okay? But down in here, there's a nice hole. So if I'm building a bench or something like this, it's gonna have to hold a lot of weight, a few hundred pounds, I'm gonna use the bigger auger. But that auger there, that's more if I'm building a, a structure I wanna be around, have around for a long time. Usually, the three quarter inch auger is all you need for your pins and dowels to hold your wood together. It's really helpful. Well, you guys, this is just a quick little video. I wanted to show you about how to use these tools. It's important. These are things that when you see them, you need to pick them up because maybe power isn't gonna be there. You're not gonna be able to grab your drill. You're not gonna be able to do those things. You're gonna have to build something by hand, using hand tools. It's important to learn these things. These are old crafts that are disappearing. And if we don't continue to do these things on our own and educate ourselves on how to use these tools of our grandfathers and our forefathers, well, it's gonna disappear. And what's gonna happen then? Because I'm telling you, most people out there, they don't know, they only wanna pick up a hand tool, they wanna use the power tools. And don't get me wrong, I love power tools, all right? I used to be an arborist, and I used to be a tree climber. And I tell you what, I love my chainsaw. Oh, I just love chainsaw, reaching up there, cutting it down. But there's nothing like a good silky handsaw. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Well, you guys, this is short, sweet, and quick for you, and I wanted to share it with you. So let me know down below, and if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe to the channel so you can find out more about this crazy mountain man life, you guys. And as always, I'll see you soon.